Hey there friends, I have another 24 minute workout for you. This is number 13 in our series. And this one is going to focus on upper body strength. Um, so we are going to focus on the arms, the chest, and through the upper part of the back. Um, we want nice toned upper body. Most of the time, everything we do kind of focuses into our legs naturally. So we don't want to neglect the upper body at all. So I have some five pound hand weights. Typically when I do upper body for myself, I will um, keep about the three pound weight. Um, but all I have at home is five pounds, so I'm gonna make them work. Some of it I will do with the five pound weights. Um, some of it I will put the weights to the side and opt for just the muscle contraction. If you do not have any hand weights or you do not have the appropriate weight for you uh, to work on through the upper body, then we can work it all through um, just the muscle contraction with no equipment at all. So you take it where you need it today. I'm gonna put the weights to the side for right now, or just right in front. If you put your weights down, just make sure you have room to move side to side. And if we go forward and back, that you're not gonna step on your weights. Another option for weight is water bottles, cans. We've talked about different things like that, that maybe you've come up with something. Uh, if you have a good idea, let me know what it is and we'll add in some resistance that way. All right, so like I, have done with most of these videos. One thing I really like to do is for our warm up, we're just going to take our body, our muscles through all of the motions that we'll be going through when we add in the weights. So we're just going to start with a little bicep curl, bring the arms up and down, lift and lower. So I like to do them this way so the body gets used to what movements we're going to go through, but also so you get used to the contraction through the muscles without. Um, the swinging through the body, so we make sure we have proper form without the weights before we get started using the weights. So from the side, when I come up and down, I'm not swinging, not rocking, everything is locked in, arms just come up and out to the side. Good, or up in front. Now we're gonna lift, lower, rotate out, back in. Lift, lower, out, in. So notice the upper part of my arm stays very close to my body. That is just getting me a little bit of rotation through the shoulders and some work through the back. Two more. Last time, lift, lower, out, and in. All right. Now we're gonna be working through the chest a little bit as well and through the back. So we're just gonna bring the arms in front and we're gonna open to the side and back to the center. So this would be like a um, pulling in a chest fly. We're working to bring the, the muscles in to contract. So we can do this a couple ways. You can have this contraction through the back or we can have it through the chest. Right here we wanna work through the chest. So I'm thinking of squeezing my arms together but trying not to round through the shoulders. I don't wanna come here. It's that squeeze and open squeeze and open two more good release we're just going to bring the arms up back lift and down left side now when we come into this this is going to be a little tricep workout here we're going to be working both arms together if we choose to use the weights lift kick back up and down. So hopefully the heart rate is coming up a little bit. You're starting to feel your breath rate increase. Good. Give me one more set. Again, we're just focusing on nice controlled movements right through. All right, we're gonna step the right leg forward. So this is where we start to incorporate some of the legs here. We're gonna work into a reverse fly. So I'm gonna bring the arms in front and I'm gonna squeeze through the back and lift. So I lift and lower, lift, and lower. We don't wanna go that direction. Lighting will get terrible. Lift, and lower, lift, and lower. Give me three more, two, and we're gonna switch legs. Lift, and lower, lift, and lower. So my belly is pulled into my spine. Spinal engagement here, lift, lower, 
lift, lower. Give me three, two, and one. All right, just a little stretch through the legs here. Pop the toes up, press forward, and then maybe just a rounding back through the shoulders. We switch legs. A little bit of work through the back, but we want the shoulders working. Belly in. Little stretch through the legs. Two and one. All right, little shake out. So you can grab one of your hand weights. Again, since I go with a lighter weight, I'm going to use it right here, and I'm going to work the position with the arms facing in as I lift and lower. So if you choose to use both hand weights, you're gonna be right here. So this is that hammer curl position that we can work through. I'm gonna show you with one weight as we come through. So arms squeeze into the side. I lift and lower, lift and lower. So we're gonna work the biceps. That's that front top of the arm muscle. We're gonna work these in different positions. So the different ways that we hold our hands affect the muscle differently. We've got four, three, two, and one. All right. Now we're gonna take it just into the right hand, one weight, and we're going to lift and lower. So as I lift and lower here, I'm working shoulders, I'm working through the back, and I really have to work through all of the arm muscles as I lift and lower. We've got four, three, two, and one. Now, if you have one hand weight, you can just switch hands. If you have a weight in both hands, then just start working the left arm, core engaged, lift, and lower. So I like to add a little pause in, so I pause, and pause. That way I make sure I'm not just swinging through the muscle. Three, two, and one. Perfect. We're gonna go back into the biceps. I'm gonna use both weights this time. And we're gonna turn the hands forward. So if you have one weight in your hands, then you're gonna be gripping right here. All right, again, you don't have to have any weights at all. So we're gonna work a bicep curl. We have a two-two count, so we squeeze, squeeze, lower, lower. When I talk about that squeeze, it's through the bicep muscle. So again, I'm working this muscle right here, down, squeeze, and lift, lower, lower. Mm-hmm, your core is engaged. Now, if you need, you can alternate the arms. Anytime we're working through both arms together, just make sure you even them out. Two more sets, lift, lift, lower. Notice I don't have a tight, tight grip on my weights. Perfect, little shoulder roll back and down. Now, if you have hand weights, really work on letting them pull down and away from the ears here, engage through the belly, and we're just gonna work a little bit of a shoulder roll. So I lift up, back, and down, up, back and down, using the weights to help pull my arms down, to pull my shoulders away from my ears. Lift and circle. So I'm really using the muscles through the shoulder blades here. Good, other direction, back, lift and down. Back, lift and down. Perfect work, lift, Press and down, lift, press and down. Again, lift, press, last time, up, back and down. All right, we're gonna work into the triceps just a little bit, so I'm gonna take my right leg forward, left leg back. I wanna make sure I have some distance between my legs. As I come forward with the upper body, Arms come up and I'm just gonna kick back right side and left side, right and left. So the purpose of using the legs and the core here is to lock everything in. Press back, pull in, press back, pull in. Two, one. Good, release 
face down. All right, we're gonna take the left foot forward. We're gonna come into another set of triceps. Option, you can use both arms together here if you choose. Now, if you only have one hand weight, you can place it in the left hand. You can continue to work through with the right hand. Empty if needed, tip forward. So that's just an option too. Next time you come into this, kick back, release. Kick back, release. Breathe. Alternating arms if needed. Just working the left side if needed. I have control so I don't swing through the arms. Press back, pull in, press back, pull in. Give me four, three, two, belly engaged, one. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of work. Shoulder roll. All right, so use the weights here. Really let the arms press down and away. So we've worked biceps, we've worked triceps. We've worked a little bit through the back. We're going to come into a row right here. So the feet, about hip width, maybe a tiny bit wider, but I want your toes facing forward. Lots of times we tend to come into this position just naturally. So pay attention, look down at your toes and bring them in. Upright row, we're gonna just pull the weights right up the body, right back down. So you can do one arm and then the other if you choose. We're keeping a two-two pace right here. Belly in, lift, lift, down, down. So once you're feeling your shoulders here, the rounded part of the front of the shoulders as we lift, I want your posture nice and long so that you feel upper back as well. Belly in, lift, lift, lower, lower. Four, three, oh, two, one more time. Excellent, relax through the shoulders, all right. Now, at any time, if you need to lose one of the weights, one of the hand weights, let it go, let it down. I'm gonna bring one of mine down and I'm just gonna work right here. You can keep the arms together. So we're gonna work through the back and through the shoulders here. So we're just gonna come into a bit of an overhead press. Now, if you have the weights in both hands, you can do it with both hands. You would have that forward grip up and down right here. I'm gonna bring the elbows in just a little bit more. Start to lift the elbows up. We do not want to drop the elbows below shoulder height here so that we're keeping the chest engaged as well. So lift for two, come down for two. Lift, lift, down, down. Nice work. Your core is engaged. From this side, my upper body doesn't tilt back. Lift, lift, down, down. So we should be feeling the arms, the chest, and the shoulders. Our abdominal muscles are contracted, so we're feeling those as well. Make sure you don't lock out your knees. Two more. Last time. Oh, ho, ho. stretch out right there. All right. I'm only going to work with one hand weight again. We are going to just have a lift to the side and right back down. Now, you can do this with or without the weights. If the arm is feeling tired, then either take a break or don't use any of the weights. You can go through the same thing and still get strengthening and toning without the hand weight. Tip the upper body forward just a little bit. Little bend in the knees. So this just locks in my core. Right here I just have everything locked in and I am breathing. So I have a two-two pace lift up. Lift, lift, lower, lower. We're gonna go for a set of eight. Right back down. Lift, lift, and lower. Mm -hmm. Up, up, down, down. I'm not counting, are you? I think we have three more. Lift. Lift, down, down. You can 
Release the weight if you need. Good, come up, shake it out just a minute. Or a second, I should say. We only have 24 minutes total, we can't waste any time. No, we wouldn't wanna do that. Belly in, press the hips back, lower down. So it's that two-two pace straight out to the side. Ready, here we go. Lift, lift. Now lots of times when we're working these muscle contractions, I like the two-two pace because it helps me control the movements a little bit more. Lift, lift, lower and lower. We come up, up, down, down. Try not to hike through the shoulders. We don't want it up by our ears. Last two and one. Lift, lift, lower and lower. <sighs> nice work. All right. So another one with our standing position. Both weights or just one? I'm gonna focus on the weight just in the right arm. We're gonna come into a bicep curl, but we have the arms in as we come through. So the arm comes to the side rather than straight in front here. So I'm gonna work through the motion with both sides. Right arm is going to be weighted, left arm is not. Come with me now if you choose. Down, down. If you need to break a little bit more, that's fine. You do not have to use the hand weights. I can't say that enough. Lift, lift, lower and lower. Nice with the control. It's all in the control. So you might be working both arms with weights. You might have one weight and one knot. Good, lift one knot, one without. Ooh, I'm working hard. All right, one more set. Lift, lift, down, down. Up, up, down, and down. So a little break here. You can take a longer break if you need to if you had weights in both hands. Otherwise, we're just going to switch here. If you have the weights in both hands for that first set, this set, if you choose to, lower the weights down, you'll be fine. We're gonna start with the left arm. Up up down down so i want to make sure i'm keeping the arms in close to the body even with the weight i don't want it rotating out to the side i don't want it lifting up in front so i don't want to come here down so if i'm coming here i'm not using the right muscles engage to the core and lift lift lower lower so we're cranking on it right there up up, down, down. Really working the muscle contraction. So I squeeze that front part of the upper arm. Lift, lift. So I do get a little bit of tricep work in here too. I work through the biceps and as I straighten the arm, I work through the triceps. Good, lift, lift, lower, lower. All right, give me one more each arm. Up, up, down, down, lift, lift, down, and down. All right, shake out through the arms. All right, we're gonna come into that reverse fly one more time. You can use both weights, you can use just one, okay? I'm gonna stick to the one. Right leg comes forward, left leg comes back, Belly engaged, small tip forward. So I'm still working both arms, but I'm focusing on squeezing through with the weighted arm. You can have weights in both arms if you choose. Think of squeezing the shoulder blades together. Here we go. Lift, lift, lower and lower. So what I want you to work with, if you only have a weight in one hand, is keeping an even controlled pace because the unweighted arm inevitably wants to shoot straight up really quickly. Two more, lift, lift, lower and lower, one more. If you have both arms weighted, you don't have that problem. Good, switch sides. Brace to the belly, small tip forward, arms come down. I'm gonna move to the side back just a little bit so you can see both arms. Here we go, lift, lift, lower and lower. If it's too much with the unweighted arm, 
to try to keep that even pace, just do the left arm with the weight. Good, four more, lift, lift, lower and lower, core tight. Last two, up, up, down, down, last one. Oh my, nice work. All right, we're gonna come down to the floor. Yay, is this good? I hope so. All right, so we're gonna work a little bit through the abs here. So we're gonna work with the upper body at an angle right here. I can take the weight, I do not have to, but I can take a weight both hands, you can take a weight in each hand. Right here, core is engaged. So I start to lift that two-two pace straight up and back at that angle, lift, lift, lower and lower. I press, press, bring it down, lift, lift. Now, if you choose, you don't have to have the weight here, you don't have to do the crunch. You could focus on more of the crunch and just a contraction through the arms if you choose. Four more, lift, lift, lower and lower. Lift, lift, lower. Last two, oh, and one. Perfect, all right. Now I'm gonna face you. You might be facing me already. That's fine. We're going to work into the arms as I bring a weight across. So I can lift, tap, lift, tap. So we're working mostly through the core. From this side, I'm at a bit of an angle. So you have to be careful with the twist through the back. I want this to work through the arms as well. So think of that control, lower, squeeze, lower and squeeze. Nice control, over and center. Right side, left side. Nice. Option, right here, right here. So we want good form and we want to finish. We don't want to give up. All right, give me four, three, two, and one. Oh, nice work. All right, you're gonna come onto your back. I'm gonna roll over to the side one more time just to show you my feet may be out of the frame, but it'll be okay. We're gonna work through the chest here. So we're gonna have the weights overhead. Again, you don't have to have the weights here. And we're going to work a chest fly. So we're gonna bring the arms out to the side for two, back up to the center for two. So I want you to think about, come with me whenever you're ready, squeezing through the chest muscles. So as I come up, I'm squeezing through the chest and right back down. So you lift, maybe they don't all the way come off the ground, maybe they don't all the way meet the ground. Either way is fine as long as we feel that squeeze through the chest and you have your belly engaged. Lift, lift, down, down. Two more. One more time. Lift, lift, out and out. We're gonna come up to the top and we're gonna have a little bend in the elbows and lift back up traditionally called a skull crusher because you're bringing the weights towards your head. Please do not let them hit your head. You can do this without the weights. Coming back, back, lift and lift. Back, back, lift and lift. Two more. Is your belly pulled in? One more time. Now we're just gonna put those two together. We're gonna come out to the side, lift back, bend the elbows, head or uh, weights come down towards the head. Out, out, squeeze, squeeze. Triceps work as we come down, lift, lift. Two more, out, out, in, in, down, down, up, up. Last time, out, out, lift. Squeeze, drop, drop, lift, lift. Oh, bring 
that down to the side. You did it. All we gotta do now is a little bit of stretching. Good, you can rock yourself up to a seated position. Working through the chest here. <sighs> nice little shoulder roll. You can speed it up, you can slow it down, either direction. <sighs> All right, we're gonna take an arm across. So I'm gonna bring my right arm across the left. So I stretch through that top shoulder muscle, sitting up as tall as you can. Nice work, we're more than halfway through our series. Good, slowly bring it up and gently back and behind. Keep the head lifted. You don't have to bring the hand behind. You can just a little press right here on the triceps if needed. Good, release that arm. Other arm comes across. So keep doing your workouts. It's important that we have a little bit of strength, a little bit of cardio, and a little bit of stretch. The more we can um, build some muscle with our cardio workouts, um, or when well, we work endurance and cardio, um, goodness, I worked too hard. Medic and please lost for words. So we want the cardio to keep the heart nice and strong. That's traditionally what we think of when we think of burning calories, keeping ourselves nice and active. But you also want some strength training in there. Some people shy away from strength and they think, well, I just need cardio because I want to be physically fit and I want my heart working well, so I just need cardio workouts. Bring the arm across once more. But we need strength in there as well. The more we can build up some strength, a little bit of strength, a little bit of tone and definition in the muscles, we develop what we call lean muscle mass. Lift through the chest, press forward. That is what is going to help you with your metabolism. It will aid you anytime you come into a cardio workout. But we also just need strong, strong muscles. The cardio is also great to keep our bones nice and strong. Good. Press the right shoulder forward. So we want the heart muscle, getting plenty of exercise, work within your limits. As we are in the heat and summertime months, press forward. We have to be aware of our hydration. So you are going to, within the next two hours, drink 24 ounces of water. Yes. And that's just a good complement to any of our workouts. We're gonna take the hands behind, so you can hold on to the elbows or you can reach the hands behind. Turn back around because I like to see when, I, when I'm talking to you. Lift, lift, lift here. We want to make sure we're flushing out through the muscles, getting rid of those toxins that we build up and that we flush out with our workouts. Good. Again, that shoulder roll. Now just open through the chest. Bring the arms in front. Give yourself a little hug. Oh, well deserved. Open up. One more hug. This one's from me with you. Two more times. Open up and come back to center. So we want a little bit of strength. We want a little bit of cardio in our workouts. We want to breathe a little bit heavier. We want to break a sweat and release. Nice work. Keep your body working. Respect your limitations right now if you have some. The wind has been blowing quite a bit. Surprise, surprise in our panhandle, right? But the wind blows around. That may affect allergies, everything that's in the air. So you may not be able to work out to the intensity that you normally do. Respect your body. Give it a chance to kind of get over the allergies a little bit more. And then you can uh, try to increase the intensity through your workout if that's what you need. If you feel like your muscles are especially tired and you need to go without any resistance of weights or you need to lighten up your weights, it's okay. Sometimes we have to let go of our ego a little bit that thinks, but I can do this, but I can do this, and take your body with where it is right now. 
the sooner we let go of, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, then the body is like, wait a minute, I can do it. So we gotta get out of here a little bit and let the body start to work on its own. So thank you so much for working out with me. You make it all worthwhile. I love you, I miss you, I will see you very soon. Keep working these videos. All right, until next time, have a great rest of your day. Bye.